Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Chef Lance with Deja Food and Decor. I'd like to thank everyone who is tuning in during Cruise Week here at Deja Food and Decor TV and has watched part one of my video. Where I wanna say hello to all of my Deja Foodies. And if you have not yet, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification button so that you can see when new videos are loaded here at Deja Food and Decor TV. So we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into it with our first port of call in Freeport, Bahamas. Hey guys, so it's day two on the Carnival Elation. It's about to head down to the breakfast bar and we're gonna give you a tour of the breakfast bar. So let's get ready to go down. Now, if your goal is to make it through the line quickly, I do suggest that you get up early so that you can get to the breakfast bar first because as you see, there is a line to get to the breakfast bar. Now, outside on the they deck, they will have chefs that will be making fresh omelets for you on the deck, but that line tends to be a little longer, so we just chose to go with a traditional breakfast. Now, breakfast is served in the Tiffany's Dining Room. The Tiffany's Dining Room is the ship's buffet-style Lido restaurant located on deck 10 with a seating capacity of 722, and it has indoors and outdoor tables. Continental and buffet-style breakfasts are available here in the morning, and they have a wide selection of breakfast meats, grits, eggs, different toasts, and different pastries that you can get right from the bar, as well as they have additional pastries that are in a separate area that has your cinnamon rolls and your danishes and things like that. The great thing is we were able to find a great spot outside on the deck where we could watch the ship come into port and enjoy our breakfast. So we took our time and we enjoyed our breakfast and after doing so, we wanted to go back on the deck and mingle a little. Now what you will come to find from your cruise is you will make a million friends on board because this is your onboard family. Your first morning on the ship, they're going to have the shopping showcase. Now, you may ignore a lot of things, but this is one event you want to be at for a lot of different reasons. This was the shopping show right before we got off the boat in our port of call of Freeport, Bahamas. Now, please understand these shopping shows do give you valuable information like spotlights on the actual port of call of Nassau. And it gives you maps in which you can kind of track where you would like to go in Nassau. And they also let you know where you can find the best deals. Now, what they do is they promote raffles. Like you see, everyone's coming up to bring their raffle ticket. But once they get you in there, they're going to give you that great information but they're also going to sell, sell, sell. That's right. This is their opportunity to let you know of all of the great products that not only Nassau, but the cruise ship has to offer. And they'll give you great discounts on those products. Please don't get me wrong, but you're definitely going to come out spending money in some way. Then they do fun things like this. When you see this slide during the show, this means there's going to be prize giveaway time. So when you see this, you need to jump, scream, shout. You've got to be first and you've got to be fast. The fastest, loudest, and the first person to catch Ryan's eye will be the person winning that prize. So on the count of three, Woo! let's try this. One, two, three. Woo! Now I'm 100% sure Ryan gets a phenomenal commission check because he's going to sell you everything from mattresses all the way to diamonds. Now it's a good thing that I actually did listen to the actual presentation on Diamonds International because there goes our favorite four letter word again, free. Diamonds International was giving away free charm bracelets and you can have as many vouchers as you like. They'll give you that many free charm bracelets. So don't be tripping if you're one of my friends and you end up getting one of these for Christmas or your birthday. But that's not it, you guys. Just when we thought it couldn't get any better from having all of our free vouchers. And like I said, we did purchase the book. So we had a lot of free information and a lot of free coupons in the book, like the coupon that you're seeing right here for a free diamond heart pendant necklace. And just when I thought it couldn't get any better, this happened. No purchase necessary when you go oh! to the how long this is going to be for you? I'll give you something special right well, You now, see, you want to make sure that you make it to this showcase because there's so much free stuff. Now, ladies and gentlemen, how many of you own Tans Mountain Room? Seven seas, all hey, led by one specific lady. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big, thunderous, raucous round of applause to our FBM ambassador. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Rose to the stage. Hello, hello, everyone. How are you? 
So ladies and gentlemen, this is Roy, she's our Epi ambassador. You'll find her right outside here in the Epi boutique. Hey. Hey guys, so we are in beautiful Freeport, Bahamas. We are in Freeport. So in Freeport, because we didn't have a whole lot of time at that port, we decided to patronize one of the local islanders who ran a taxi service. This taxi service will take you to the beach and from the beach because we wanted to spend the day at the beach. What's up, ladies? Where you all from? Georgia. Akron. What part of Georgia? LeBron James. What part of Georgia? Okay. Atlanta in the house. Okay. Here you can enjoy a glamorous vacation at an upscale resort, plus have a life-changing experience with a visit to a cultural historical sites such as historical small towns, several picturesque fishing villages, Lucan architectural sites, one of the world's largest underwater cave systems, three national parks and endless south side beaches with crisp blue water. Roundabout, this is all industrial. Once you go beyond the roundabout, it becomes residential. One thing that we did notice about Freeport Bahamas is that the grounds of the island were immaculately clean. The streets were clean, the beaches were clean, the port was clean, unlike Nassau that has been very much commercialized. And also unlike our cab driver's car. His car was filthy, and no, it does not help that you have a holy Bible on top of all of that junk. But hey, he's a native islander, and we wanted to patronize him. I'm just saying. Oh, I, I only found out afterwards, but I, I found out one thing that I wanted to make you guys aware of that when you get to Freeport and you get to the actual beach, the beach is divided by a private sector and a public sector. The private sector of the beach is ran by the cruise ship and there is a charge. But I wanted to let you guys know this. All you have to do is literally go in between the houses of the islanders and you can actually go on to the actual public side of the beach absolutely free of charge because it's public hey guys so we're out in beautiful freeport bahamas out here at the beach just taking in all of the beautiful scenery and the cool water out here say hey jordan hey. so that's when we ran into king kong coconut guy that's right we had our personal drink mixer right there on the beach Yo, first of all, I want to say big up, first of all, I want to say big up to everybody out there, YouTube line, internet line, where the fuck y'all at. Especially want to say big up to ATL, Heart Atlanta, that's what's up. That's so we got Jay here, we got Lance in the house, these guys hanging out in Bahamas, hanging out with King Kong, Coconut Daddy, AKA, man, with a big fucking night. But anyway, these guys about to get an awesome rum filled drink, after you get one of these, King Kong ain't got shit on you, alright? Right. Let's get it, let's go, man, guys. Okay guys, don't panic. I had to mute him for a little while because he started playing a real bumping version of Young Money and um, Nicki Minaj started rapping in the back. And at some point, I may want to monetize this video. So I just don't want to get flagged for any copyright infringements. But I will let him talk in one second. But just pay attention to what he's doing. He's actually giving us some fresh coconut water. And then a little bit uh, um, in just one second, you'll see that he's going to actually take the yolk from the coconut. And he explained to us that once the yolk of the coconut is added to the coconut water, it then becomes coconut milk. And so he also gave us a cup of the coconut milk uh, before he actually made our drink inside the coconut.
Okay, guys, I had to mute him one more time because another song actually came on um, on his stereo that he had on his bar. So I want you guys to finish watching this drink and then we're going to give the drink a review while we're sitting on the beach. Now they're going to have a wide variety of activities that you can take part of while you're on Freeport. You can definitely jet ski. You can swim on the beach. Um, you can definitely take advantage of volleyball. They have a couple of different other water sports that you can take advantage of as well as kayaking, which didn't prove wise for a lot of people. Okay, these girls didn't quite make it. They tried to... They got that boat. They, Ooh, tried, to, that they tried to kayak, but the kayak wasn't working. Ooh. 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 They gave up. Ooh. She said it's over. <laughs> she said it's over. Mama them didn't make it. We even found a native islander that was making fresh kunch salad right there on the beach and agreed to do a video just for my deja foodie.
just a little bit. Is it really spicy? A little, just a little bit. Your business again? <laughs> Guys, that by far was the best conch salad, fresh conch salad that I have ever had right there in Freeport, Bahamas. Unfortunately, my time is up for part two of Cruise Week with the Carnival Elations Vacation Cruise Review here at Deja Food and Decor. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so that you can see when part three of our trip is loaded. So you can see when part three of Cruise Week is loaded to Deja Food and Decor TV. Thanks again, guys, for watching this video. Share this video and like this video. Give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys on part three.